Creating a Facebook group allows you to establish an engaging online community of individuals with specific interests, and you can create Facebook groups for essentially anything. For business, you can create education or information focused groups aimed at providing value for your audience, and ultimately for growing your authority, brand, and community online. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all having a productive day. Now in this brief Facebook group tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the process of how to create and set up a Facebook group in 2022. Okay, so just quickly before we dive into Facebook, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and create your Facebook group so that you can build your online Facebook community. Okay, so in order to create a Facebook group, you first need to create a Facebook account. If you currently do not have a Facebook account, simply head over to facebook.com and then go ahead and create your free account. Then simply log into your Facebook account and we'll meet you inside Facebook. Then once you've arrived inside your Facebook account under home, you should be able to locate groups over on the left hand side. If you can't see groups here, simply click see more and locate groups. Then simply click groups. Then down on the left hand side, this is where you can see all the groups that you're currently part of. Then to create a group, simply click create new group. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm going to create a business group with the goal of educating small business owners on how to use Google Ads. However, like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, you can create a group for essentially anything. Simply come down and name your group. And if you want people to be able to search and find your group on Facebook, then make sure that you have keywords that are related to your group type. So for example, if someone's looking for a Google Ads group, then there will be a higher chance that they will find this group because I have Google Ads in my group name. So ensure that you have relevant keywords in your group name, and this is gonna help people discover your group on Facebook. Then simply come down to choose privacy. This is where we have the option to make our group public or private. Now, if we decide to make our group public, this means anyone on Facebook can see who's in the group and what they are posting. So all the information about the group is public. However, if we decide to select private, then only members can see who's in the group and what they are posting. Now we recommend that you select private because this means you can keep everyone's profiles that are part of your group, as well as the posts that they are creating, the content, the information, you can keep that all private and exclusive to group members. Then simply navigate down to hide group. If we click here, and then we have the options to either make our group visible, which means anyone can find our group, and then we can also make our group hidden. Only members can find this group. So basically you can only invite people to join your group. People cannot find this group on Facebook. So we wanna keep visible selected and then come down to invite friends. This is where you have the option to start inviting people to join your group. We're gonna leave that blank for now and come down and click create. But what we need to do now is complete setting up our Facebook group. The first thing we want to do is navigate up to this cover image and we want to change this by simply clicking edit. And what you want to do is create and upload a cover photo with the dimensions 1640 by 856 pixels. Now if you currently don't have a cover photo and you're not too sure how to make one, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will take you through the process of how to use Canva, which is a free design tool to create graphics for free and you can use Canva to simply create a cover photo. So what I'm going to do is navigate down to upload photo and upload a cover photo I created earlier with Canva. And then you have the option to drag to reposition. So what I'm going to do is bring that down slightly 
and I like the look of that. Now you'll notice that your entire image isn't displaying because it changes based on the device that you're viewing your Facebook group in. For example, in mobile and tablet, this cover image will look slightly different. So you might need to take the time to actually play around and create your cover image so that your cover image displays nicely. I like the look of that repositioning, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Save Changes. Then what we wanna do is navigate down the screen and then click on Add a Description. This is going to allow people on Facebook and your group members to understand what this group is all about. Then once you've added a brief description, simply come down and click Save. And now what we want to do is navigate up to About. This is where people can see basic information about your group. Then if we navigate over to Discussion, this is where your members can create posts and engage in posts. Then if we navigate over to Topics, this allows you to explore specific topics based on the hashtags that you add to your posts. Then navigate over to members. This is where you can find members within your group. Then if we come down to group experts, this is where we have the option to add experts to our group. This allows you to allocate badges to specific members that can help answer questions. Then if we navigate back up to the top and click on events, this is where we can go ahead and create events within this group. So for example, if I click create event and then click create event, this is where you can simply create your new event. However, what we're gonna do is exit out of this and then come down and click leave page. So remember the event feature allows you to create exclusive events for your members within your group. Then if we navigate up to media, this is where we can manage all the media within this group. Then if we navigate over to questions, and this is where you can ask questions. Now, if we navigate over to admin tools, we can navigate down the page and click on group rules. This is where you can essentially establish rules for your group. Okay, so that is everything I wanted to share in regards to setting up your Facebook group. So what we wanna do now is navigate up to home, and now that your page is set up, we can navigate over to posts and we can create our first post. This could be welcoming our group members or it could be information about this group. And creating posts within a group is the same if you're creating a public post from your account or from a business page. Then you also wanna navigate up here and start inviting your network to join your group. Now, a Facebook group that I want to mention today that is a great example of a successful Facebook group is called Digital Marketing for Rookies. So what I'm going to do is head over to that group. And this powerful Digital Marketing for Rookies Facebook group is created and managed by my good marketing friend, Corey. And the intention with his Facebook group is to provide valuable information, updates, educational content, for his community. And as you can see, the relevant keyword digital marketing is in his group name, which means when someone searches for digital marketing on Facebook, most likely Corey's group will appear and people can join this group. And for those that are interested in joining an exclusive small business community where you can learn, upskill, and essentially grow your small business, then I recommend that you join this digital marketing group for rookies. And as you can see, by creating a group like this, you can provide educational content, build authority, your brand online, and ultimately you'll grow your business because people will reach out to you when they require your products or your services because you've created an exclusive community, you've provided value, you've built that relationship, and that will essentially help your brand thrive online. And there we have it guys, that is it for this beginner's tutorial aimed at helping you create your own Facebook group. Now if you have any questions about Facebook groups, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.